If I was doing this for real, I'd do this. First, switch on privacy so your chat is not recorded. Now run the debating prompt and you get pure gold. Here are another seven really useful chat GPT prompts. You'll find a link to the entire series in the description as well as timestamps to every example. And you'll also find all the prompts in the first pinned comment, so you can just copy and paste. Okay, let's do this. In previous videos, we've seen how we can create actionable lists for just about anything. But sometimes a list doesn't cut it. Like when you're trying to map out an idea or a concept. Create a mind map on growing tomatoes. Nice. Create a mind map on starting a brand. Include marketing. If you're planning to teach others anything, whether it's online or in person, this is a game changer. Create an awesome lesson plan for learning about AI. Start by setting clear objectives and outlining a step-by-step -step process. Include engaging activities that make the learning process exciting and use innovative assessments to measure progress. Lesson plan, introduction to artificial intelligence, objectives, understand the basic concepts and applications of artificial intelligence, explore the ethical implications and societal impact of AI, develop critical thinking and problem-solving skills through AI-related activities. Duration, four sessions, approximately one hour each. Session one, introduction to AI. Begin the lesson with a thought-provoking question related to AI, such as, what are some examples of AI technology you encounter in your daily life? Encourage students to share their responses and initiate a class discussion. That took seconds. You can also modify the lesson plan to fit older adults or any other age range. Just remember when it comes to creating the actual lessons to ask the AI to create them one at a time. And here's another tip for creating brilliant lessons. Ask the AI to use analogies that the target audience can understand. Okay, now watch this. Modify this lesson plan for homeschooling a six-year-old. Begin the lesson by asking the child, have you ever heard of robots or machines that can think and learn like humans? Show the child a short video or book with a friendly and relatable robot character. Discuss how the robot can perform different tasks and make decisions using AI. Hello, yeah, is this little Hodge's teacher? Yeah, you're done. Years ago, when I was trying to be a writer, I wrote a story based in the future, where criminals would be injected with intelligence and awareness. The ensuing guilt over their crimes would tear them apart. Not literally, but you get me. So I wondered if I could reproduce this in a prompt. Your task is to inform me of the potential consequences and, if applicable, the emotional impact to myself and or others each time I enter an action or behavior. Keep the language simple. Please go ahead and tell me the first action or behavior you want me to analyze. Tell a lie. Potential consequences. Breaks trust. When people discover they have been lied to, it can lead to a loss of trust, which might be hard or impossible to regain. Harm to reputation. If others find out you've lied, it could damage your reputation and how people perceive you. Create stress. Maintaining a lie can cause stress as you might be constantly worried about being found out. Leads to more lies. One lie often leads to another to maintain the first lie, creating a cycle that can become complex and hard to manage. Emotional impact. On self. Guilt. You may feel guilty for not being truthful. Anxiety. There could be an increase in anxiety levels, particularly if you are worried about the lie being discovered. On others. Hurt. If the lie is discovered, the person you lied to might feel hurt and betrayed. Anger. They could also feel angry for being deceived. Distrust, their trust in you might be shattered, leading to a lack of confidence in future interactions. You can use this in retrospect if your kids do something bad to help them see the big picture. Or as a simulator for testing all kinds of decisions, from financial to personal and business. Or you could turn this into an app. There are some kinds of information that we just can't dump on our phones. We just have to remember it. Like people's names or car number plate or your tax ID number. Well now we can ask the AI for help. Create a mnemonic to help me remember the planets in the solar system. Here's a mnemonic to remember the planets in the solar system. My very eager mother just served us nachos. Each word represents the first letter of a planet. This one comes from GD in the comments, who mentioned the tree of thought, a technique used in prompt engineering to force the AI to brainstorm in order to arrive at a solution. So I dug deeper and from what I've seen, you approach this in four stages. You describe the problem, you brainstorm, you evaluate the solutions, and then you narrow down and choose a solution. Now, Beans McGens in the comments mentioned that the video before this one, which is part one, gave him a better method for tree of thought prompting. Thanks for that comment, Beans, because it helped me with this example. And sorry if I butchered your last name. It happens to me all the time. So there are two prompt examples in the previous video that forced the AI to brainstorm. I'll put a link to each example in the description. 
The first is prompt example three, a room full of experts, in which I ask the AI to list the best experts for a particular problem, and then I ask for each expert to give me their advice. The second is prompt example six, a room full of wisdom, where I ask the AI to assume the role of Socrates, another wise person that fits the example and the smartest AI on the planet, and then I ask the AI to help me arrive at a solution using those three characters. So I'm not going to use the tree of thought prompt step by step because that would mean four prompts, one for each stage. And yes, layered prompts can create better results. But the question is, what is the best result we can get with the least amount of work? So I'm going to combine my two prompts and use the tree of thought methodology to see what happens. And just so you know, I'm using ChatGPT 3.5 because it can access the web, so I can give it links. So let's say we're wondering whether now is a good time to take out a mortgage. We'll start by assembling the perfect team to help us. List three people, living or dead, who would be the very best to advise me on buying a property. Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett is one of the most successful investors in the world and has a keen understanding of the real estate market. Barbara Corcoran. Barbara Corcoran is a prominent real estate entrepreneur and investor, known for her expertise in the industry. So Richard Branson, while primarily known as the founder of Virgin Group and a successful entrepreneur in various industries, so Richard Branson has also invested in real estate throughout his career. That's right, you all work for me now. <laughs> Next, let's gather some information. I'll search for current mortgage rates in the UK and grab a link. And Economic Outlook UK 2023. Let's begin. Roleplay. Become five separate characters. Robert Kiyosaki, Barbara Corcoran, Warren Buffett, Sir Richard Branson, and the smartest AI on the planet. Yeah, I'm bringing in extra people. Use everything you know about each character to respond as they may have done. Do not break character. I need advice on a situation and I want to be guided by all characters. Each character should critique each other's response and debate amongst themselves in order to unanimously arrive at the best potential course of action. Here is my question. Should I take on a mortgage? Here are the current mortgage rates in the UK. And here is an article about the current economic outlook. Robert Kiyosaki. Taking on a mortgage can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, it allows you to leverage your money and potentially acquire an appreciating asset. On the other hand, it comes with financial obligations and risks. It's important to consider your personal financial situation and goals. Are you purchasing a property for investment or personal use? Assess your ability to make monthly payments comfortably, even if interest rates rise. Look beyond short-term rates and focus on long-term prospects. Mortgages can be advantageous if you have a solid plan and understand the risks involved. Barbara Corcoran. I agree with Robert to some extent. However, it's crucial to thoroughly evaluate the current economic outlook and mortgage rates. The UK economic outlook and interest rates play a significant role in determining the feasibility of taking on a mortgage. According to the provided article, PwC expects a moderate growth rate for the UK economy. Consider how this projection might impact the housing market and interest rates over the long term. Analyze the mortgage rates provided and compare them with historical data to gauge whether they are favorable. Remember, timing is crucial when it comes to mortgage decisions. Warren Buffett. I concur with Barbara's emphasis on evaluating the economic outlook. As an investor, it's crucial to consider the macroeconomic factors that influence the real estate market. Keep in mind that interest rates impact the affordability of mortgages and, subsequently, housing demand. Analyze the historical relationship between interest rates and property values. Additionally, consider your personal financial circumstances and the stability of your income. A mortgage can be an excellent tool, but it must align with your long-term financial goals and ability to comfortably service the debt. Sir Richard Branson. While it's important to consider the economic outlook and mortgage rates, I believe it's equally important to focus on the potential returns and cash flow generated by the property. Evaluate the property's potential for appreciation or rental income. Look at the location, demand, and market trends. A mortgage should ideally be used to acquire an income-generating asset that can help you build wealth over time. Consider the potential risks, such as vacancy rates or unexpected expenses, and assess whether the property's potential outweighs them. AI. All the characters have raised valid points. To arrive at a well-informed decision, it's crucial to synthesize the information provided. Analyze the current mortgage rates in the UK and compare them to historical trends. Evaluate the economic outlook and the potential impact on interest rates. Consider your personal financial situation, long-term goals, and risk tolerance. Assess the property's potential for appreciation or rental income in the given market conditions. Additionally, consult with mortgage professionals, financial advisors, and real estate experts to gain more insights and gather a comprehensive understanding. Remember, a decision regarding a mortgage should be based on a holistic evaluation of factors to ensure the best potential outcome. Debate and consensus. Warren Buffett. We should prioritize the economic outlook and interest rates to make an informed decision. Barbara Corcoran. Agreed. We need to analyze the economic outlook and determine if the rates are favorable compared to historical data. Robert Kiyosaki. Let's not forget to consider personal financial circumstances and long-term goals. We need to ensure comfortable monthly payments and evaluate the potential for the property to generate returns. So Richard Branson. I concur with Robert. We should focus on the property's potential for appreciation or rental income to assess if it aligns with our investment goals. Smartest AI on the planet. It's essential to synthesize all the information, considering the economic outlook, mortgage rates, personal financial circumstances, and the property's potential returns. 
Consulting with professionals would provide further insights. Consensus. By considering the economic outlook, historical mortgage rates, personal financial circumstances, and property potential, while seeking professional advice, we can arrive at a well-informed decision on whether to take on a mortgage. That was a very general example just to show how the characters debate amongst each other, which is crazy. If I was doing this for real, I'd do this. First, switch on privacy so your chat is not recorded. Tell me all the information you need in order to be able to advise me on whether now is a good time for me to take out a mortgage. To provide advice on whether now is a good time for you to take out a mortgage, I would need the following information. Personal financial situation, details about your current income, savings, and existing debt obligations are crucial. This includes your monthly income, expenses, savings, credit score, and any outstanding loans or debts. Mortgage goals, clarify the purpose of the mortgage. Are you planning to purchase a primary residence, an investment property, or a second home? Determining your goals will help assess the suitability of the timing. Property details. If you have a specific property in mind, provide information such as the location, type of property, house, condo, etc., size, condition, and estimated purchase price. If you are open to different properties, specify your preferences. Mortgage rates. Information about the prevailing mortgage rates in your area is essential. Provide details on the type of mortgage you are considering, fixed rate, adjustable rate, etc., the term length, 15 years, 30 years, etc., and any potential lender offers or options. Economic outlook. It's helpful to understand the current economic conditions, both locally and globally. Share any insights or information you have about the economic outlook, including factors like interest rate projections, employment trends, inflation, and overall market stability. Risk tolerance. Assessing your risk tolerance is important to understand how comfortable you are with potential fluctuations in interest rates, property values, and any unforeseen circumstances that may arise. With these details, I can analyze the information and provide you with personalized advice on whether now is a good time for you to take out a mortgage. Now run the debating prompt and you get pure gold. Here's a short one. Generate 10 short quotes from Think and Grow Rich. Success starts with a burning desire and an unwavering belief in your ability to achieve it. Your thoughts become your reality. Persistence is the key that unlocks the door to success. The richest people in the world build their wealth by serving others and providing value. Focus on contribution, and abundance will follow. Failure is not the end, but a stepping stone on the path to success. The power of imagination knows no bounds. Embrace setbacks as valuable lessons and keep moving forward. Dare to dream big and visualize your success, for it is the first step towards its realization. Opportunities are abundant for those who seek them. Surround yourself with individuals who uplift and inspire you. Stay alert, be open to new possibilities, and seize them when they arise. Your network is a reflection of your potential for greatness. Your attitude determines your altitude. Take decisive action. Indecision breeds doubt and delay, while action breeds confidence and progress. There's a t-shirt business. Now, as per our tradition, let's end this on a comedic note. Generate a hilarious email explaining your absence from domino training last night. The email is directed at all members, whom you let down. Explain how a ridiculous and hard-to-believe string of events landed you in jail with no trousers. The tone should be serious and apologetic. Subject. Unexpected series of events and my sincere apologies for my absence. Dear Dominator Squad. I hope this message finds you in high spirits, abuzz with the thrill of victory or the sting of defeat, whichever emotion dominoes evoked from you last night. Unfortunately. I must begin this correspondence on a somber note, for I am writing to express my profound regret for my conspicuous absence from our critical domino training session. Let's lay out the events of the last 24 hours in the same organized manner we arrange our dominoes, with precision and respect for causality. It all started when, I, in the spirit of brotherhood and learning, decided to acquire a set of rare antique dominoes from a far-off yard sale, hoping to surprise you all. Little did I know, this innocent endeavor would set off a series of events with the force and precision of a well-executed domino rally. As fate would have it, the antique domino set I procured happened to belong to the infamous domino gang of the 1980s, notorious for their high-profile domino heists. Consequently, the set was listed as a valuable artifact on the International Stolen Goods Registry. Upon reaching home and excitedly opening my newly acquired possession, an alarm inside the box began to blare, alerting local law enforcement to its location. Needless to say, the next thing I knew, a SWAT team was breaching my doors as if I were running an underground domino gambling ring. Despite my pleas and attempts to explain the situation, I was swiftly escorted out of my home, in the midst of a wardrobe change, thus lacking the lower part of my ensemble. Yes, squad, I was trouserless in the face of the law. Following these dramatic events, I found myself in a local holding cell, contemplating the irony of it all. As you all know, I am a law-abiding citizen who would never dream of stealing. And yet, there I was, behind bars and without trousers, 
all due to a rare set of antique dominoes. I hope this explains why I failed to contribute to the final training session. Understandably, jail time is a bit of a domino game buzzkill, and as you can imagine, explaining the lack of trousers to my cellmates was an awkward experience. Nonetheless, I am working diligently with my legal team, which, until yesterday, I didn't even know I needed, and I hope to be back in time for our next session. I am sincerely sorry for letting the team down. I assure you, I did not anticipate my devotion to Domino's landing me in such an ironic predicament. We often discuss the unpredictable twists and turns a game of Domino's can take, but I never imagined how reality could imitate our favorite pastime. I look forward to rejoining you soon. Until then, please keep the Domino spirit alive and remember me in your toppling strategies. Yours in Domino Solidarity. Oz.